Hey guys, this is Rishi Chulani from The Dark Knot, and today in our video I want to talk about color theory. Now, the reason we need to address color theory is most guys are basically completely clueless when it comes to color. They really struggle with matching color and they're just like, look, I'll wear whatever matches with whatever, and they don't really know and they just try and wing it. But there is an art and a science to color theory, and I think if we want to understand how to match ties to your suits and shirts, then we should really look at color theory in a bit more detail today. So before we get started, I would like to point out, just give me a second here, a color wheel that I'm going to be pulling up. Now color wheel allows us to see the basic properties of color theory and basically understand how color works. Now we can see here in this color wheel, all right, is you have your cool colors which are violet through green so that includes blue violet and green and you have your warm colors which you would call you know summery colors colors that are more vibrant which are red orange and yellow now the goal again you can pull this up on anything uh, you know um, anywhere on google images and you'll find tons of color wheels again you have blue green and violet as your cool colors and you have red orange and yellow as your warm colors now, the goal of color theory is basically to harmonize colors. So you want to wear colors that go well together, but it's not overkill in any one area. So you ideally want to avoid something like orange and yellow together. Um, you can have blue and green together, they're similar colors, but you don't want too much blue and green in the same outfit. But they, they can be there in harmony, but you don't want overkill in any one specific thing per se, all right? There are different schemes we can use with the color wheel. Now, the most basic scheme is a monochromatic scheme. Monochromatic means you're basically using the same color in a tint or a shade. Now, a shade is a darker version of a color and a tint is lighter. So if we have blue, a shade would be a navy and a tint would be a light blue. So you could do a light blue shirt with a navy tie. There's nothing screaming, uh, you know, attention about that outfit. It's not necessarily gonna draw a lot of attention to you. You might not even get a whole lot of compliments in that it doesn't look strikingly bold, but it is simple, it's elegant, it's understated, but it's very classy and it looks very good. Now, if you wanna take your color mixing and matching up a notch, you can try a triadic color scheme. Now, a triadic color scheme is typically going to take three colors on the color wheel that form a triangle. So here you have blue, and it's going to form a triangle with yellow and red, all right? And with that, you can use variations. Your other triangle is purple, orange, and green. Now with blue, yellow, and red, if you notice what I'm wearing, I'm wearing a blue tie with a pink shirt. Pink is essentially a tint of red which means it's a lighter version of red and burgundy is a darker version. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a blue tie and I'm going blue and on that same triangle that has red and yellow, I'm taking a lighter version of red which is pink. So I have blue and pink. And what really works about this tie and what works with mixing and matching a lot of ties to your suits and shirts is to have a tie color that has the color of your shirt as a secondary color in the tie. So it makes it look really classy like there's an element of pink, which is the main color of the shirt, the only color of the shirt, as a secondary color of the tie. If you wanna go really bold, you can, I'm sorry, let me pull this up again. This is a different color wheel, but same effect. If you wanna go really bold, you take colors that are on opposite ends of the color wheel. So, sorry, the Wi-Fi here is a little slow. But basically, blue and orange are on opposite ends of the color wheel, and so that's gonna create the most contrast so are uh, red and green and purple and yellow. I would generally reserve red and green for Christmas or if you're Craig Sager. For those of you that watch sports, you know how bold Craig Sager's outfits are. Or I would do, you know, basically blue and orange, I think is a really good contrast, but it's very, very bold. So now that I've gone over the basics of color, of color theory, again, when we're, we're harmonizing, you're trying to basically take a warm color and mix it with a cool color. Now, if you're doing a monochromatic scheme, you're not gonna have that. So if you have a, blue, a navy blue tie on a light blue shirt, there's no, please pardon the noise in the background, there's no uh, contrast between warm and cool colors, they're both cool colors. Now if you want a warm and a cool color, like pink is a variation of red with blue, then you're harmonizing more because you're mixing warm and cool colors, and that's where color theory becomes really interesting. 
Now you can see here that we have a monochromatic scheme where you have a light gray shirt and you have a dark gray tie. So this over here could work really well as well. And now we'll get into the patterns and how the patterns work with this particular shirt in another video. But here you have a dark gray tie against a lighter gray shirt. Now a similar color scheme would be something like purple and blue. They're next to each other on the color wheel. They're not monochromatic, so there's enough of a difference. But again, you're working with two cool colors. So what you can do here is on a light, like a lilac light purple shirt, you could use a blue tie. So I'll show you an example here. Sorry, so again, this is one of our dark knot boxes just to show you. And you can see nice packaging. We even have a card with recommendations for matching suits and shirts, along with tie clips. Just wanted to show you that. So this beautiful blue tie here is going to go really well with this purple shirt. Again, it's more of a similar color scheme, so they're not popping off as it's not a warm and a cool color. These are two cool colors together. Again, I can go into pattern theory later, but this is pretty simple because you have a pattern tie against a solid shirt, but here you have a nice blue tie against a lilac shirt and it goes really well together. Now in my last example, I'm taking a mixture of a monochromatic and triadic color scheme. Triadic color scheme is where the three colors form a triangle. So here you have a finely striped red shirt and here I have a wider red striped tie which has an element of a monochromatic scheme in there because it's a bolder red against this red. But you also have navy in there. Now navy is a shade of blue. So you basically have the triadic color scheme, which is blue, red, and yellow working here, blue and red. And you have a monochromatic color scheme because you have two variations of red. And again, these patterns work, and I can go into that in another video, but there you have it. You have a blend of a triadic and monochromatic color scheme that work very well together. So that's my introduction to color theory in our next channel, in our next video, sorry, we'll start talking about pattern theory and how to match ties to your suits and shirts based on pattern. Again, here you can see color theory at work with a pocket square. There's elements of pink, elements of the tie colors, you know, tie colors here that match the tie and the, and the shirt and it all looks very sharp together. So color theory is useful in all elements of style and dressing. I just wanted to highlight how it can help you in matching your ties to your suits and shirts. Hope you found this helpful. Please check out our website, The Dark Knot. That's www.thedarkknot.com, where we have a whole range of articles, over 100 articles dedicated to men's style, in addition to 120 tie, tie styles and tie designs, from woven and printed silks to skinny ties, the whole range. You can alternatively see the link below this video, which is www.thedarkknot.com. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to hearing from you in our next video. Bye-bye.